Hello, welcome to the third episode of how to make a scoreboard in Google Sheets. This episode is going to be about the following goals, as well as talk about the fourth episodes. Uh, so far we've been through these goals. You can read them yourself by pausing the video. I'm not gonna take them again. If you want to watch them, watch the previous episodes. Uh, and here's the previous video. This is the first one, second video. And now we're in the third video. Uh, so, first, we want to enter uh, the results or ban station. Uh, for that, we have brought uh, a card collection here. We have the title of the card, we have the link which contains an image, PNG image. And here's the preview of the card to see that it's working. And this is just for style, we don't really need this. Uh, this is also a card number, you, you don't need this either, in this case. We only need these, so to speak. Uh, one thing to note, make sure that your link is not uh, relative, or so to speak. I don't know what the word is, but make sure your link doesn't disappear in time. Like there's some websites that store links, but then the link expires. Make sure your link lasts as long as the game lasts, or whatever event you're going to have. Otherwise, make sure you have a local image, basically that it's it's on your desktop or something. Uh, or make it uh, download on Google Sheets so it doesn't disappear over time. Uh, chances are that many pictures will disappear over time if you do it like that. So make sure the link is permanent and not some kind of wacky link. Alright, so for the first goal, uh, we need to, a place to enter results and bans. So... Uh, from previous episode, I said do not touch these, uh, these because we have a query formula here. It's very sensitive, as mentioned. If you remove something, it's gonna affect the query. So we we're not going to touch the rows. However, what we're going to do is uh, we can totally drag this down. That's gonna be okay. It's not gonna affect anything at all if we drag it down. It's still gonna work perfectly fine. So use that to your advantage. Uh, so what we need right now is uh, deleting this. We don't need it anymore. Uh, our goal is to have the images of the of the card bands here, and we want to enter results somewhere. The results. So we want to put this all this data around here, close to the scoreboard and close to this. So let's start with by adding the team name. Uh, we can use by equal sign here. And then the opposite team name, uh, yeah, that's good, could do probably. Then we go to want the player name of the first match. Here we don't need the entire list of the players; we just need the the player that's actually competing inside the game. So you can do equal sign, first player, and all the way to the fifth player, which can be this one, right? No, this is one too much. And we are just going to do the same thing here. First player. All the way to the fifth player, which is this one, right? Yes, H11, H11. Uh, next up, we want a place to enter the results. Uh, first bands. As you can tell, we, we're about to lack some space. So we're going to have to move this to the right. Uh, as you can tell, it's getting not very symmetrical. We're going to need to add probably one column here between to make it look better. But first, let's add uh, so uh, merge this, and then we're going to have the bands here. Uh, I think it will do anyways. We don't really have to bother with it too much. This is okay. It's not too fancy, but we can play with it later. This is only the basics, so we just can see the basics, we don't need to play too much with it. Alright, so now the names are connected, that's nice. What was it? Was here? No, here. What the heck? Oh, I just left the... Uh, just left these guys. Good job. Yeah, there you go. So it's gonna be from here, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna put this inside. This video is going to be, by the way, like 20 minutes, so 
a bit longer than usual, most likely. Not really know. Uh, let's make this these the same. No, that's not gonna be possible either. Alright, it's okay. As for bands, we can do this with data validation. So if you right click uh, data validation, you click on the thing here, you go to cars. You want to get all of these. You could drag it all the way down if you want to. And not the just see. Uh, it's good to remove all the white spaces, so you don't have to worry about that. Actually, you just you might as well write all the way to C. It's not going to include doubles or doubles or what you call it. It's all going to be unique names and no empty names. You want to copy this and paste this here. Oops. Paste. Screw it. Paste. 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 Okay, whatever. Yeah, like this. I copy this, paste it here too. And for the style purpose, let's just fix it. Okay, there you go. So now I have the list of all the all the cards, so to speak. That's the bands, which is done basically. Uh, next up is going to be results. Uh, we said it's a best of three in the first episode, so it's going to be You can either have one Zero one two points. You can't have three points. So we go to that validation again. This time we're going to have the list of items We're going to want to write zero one two save it uh, Copy it copy and Just fix the styling Maybe like this who knows no And maybe like this. Yeah, something like that. Seems okay. Uh, next up, I'm not gonna style it too much. That's not what the focus of this video is. So now it has one, two. Uh, let's see. Let's put this center a bit. One, two, two. That's all you need, basically. As for connecting them, you want to go ahead. The results you can connect like right away, uh, just like this, and you can just drag it down and drag it to the side because they are they're next to each other here too. So the last match is going to be this one, which seems to apply pretty well. And mate, and mate. So all of these, the results are correct right now. We don't have to bother with it anymore. As for bands, we don't want a full name. Of the bands, we want only the card. So if we take like archers, we want the image of the archers here. We do that by doing uh, uh, VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP. So what is what are we looking for? The search key, like the name of the item. It's going to be the archers. Uh, you want to lock this with F4. Uh, then it's going to ask us for the range. If you hold control and go to the other the cards, then leave control, enter it. You're going to get the build up with you here, which is what, what we need in this case. Uh, mark this range. You can go all the way down to D. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the index is how many steps to the right. Uh, that's what the index is. So. This is the first index, it's the second index, so how many steps to the right is the link? It's one, two steps. So we can write two here. So one, two. Easy peasy. Is it that a sword? So is it sword? It's not sword. Uh, it is sorted. Uh, I don't really know. Just it's optional. Just write zero and it's general practice. You don't think about it too much. Enter. Uh, as you see, we get a link right now. If I get this to here, maybe you can tell we get a link right now. If you click on this link, you get an image, the PNG image, which is exactly what we need. However, we want this in the image format. To do that, you go here and write image parentheses. Boom! There's the image, uh, and that's all you need basically for the bands uh, to make it work. You can probably just do something like this. Delete it, delete that, 
Can you just... Yeah, okay. Let's make it... Uh, I want to make it bigger, but same time I don't really care. It's just for practice. If you want to make this bigger yourself, go ahead. I don't really mind right now. Uh, Alright. So as for this, K4... Uh, we don't, you don't, I'm sorry, I need to put this still. Not this one. This one you can put back. Uh, if you copy this one, you see you copy it. You can go here, paste formula only. And it's gonna tell you NA, which means uh, not available. Why is that? Yes, there's because there's no no cards entered here. So there's two ways to solve this. The first one is just by entering this. It's gonna give you like a question mark, which I've entered here. If you want this to be empty, you could add an if error formula. So if this is empty now, it's gonna be empty here too. So if you copy this, copy, paste formula only, there's not gonna be an error despite this be empty. Because VLOOKUP it doesn't allow empty, how do I say it, results, so to speak. Uh, yeah, next up is going to be the other side, I guess. Just copy this. And instead of K4, it's going to be N4. Which is over here. And like if you take some card, it does show, which is exactly that's okay for me. Copy. Paste formula only. Now just center this for the look's sake. Uh, you could style this more if you want. I'm not gonna go too deep as mentioned. Uh, I'm not really into that right now. Uh, anyways, so now we have the bands working. Uh, next up is going to be the results. So like let's just add a bar to the left here. It looks a bit weird. So if you write like one here, it's gonna say one, etc. How do we get these results? To, tr to be translated into here by itself so how do we define a win here how, what is a win a win is when a player reaches two points uh, so reach a one point we don't want this to count it as a point so what we need to do is account a formula if there is a two in one of these how many twos is here that's the amount of points your team has so if we do it like this uh, count uh, if and then we take this is hectic anyways let's go like here take this to range uh, at four all right so here's the Here's the range we want to count the twos in the home team. And the criteria, what are we counting? The twos. Uh, yes. And then click enter. Right now it's a zero. Why? Because there's no twos in here. So if we add a two, right, for example here, it's gonna say one. If we add another two, if we add zero, it's still gonna say one because there's only one two here. If I don't do it, it's gonna say two. That's what we need in this case. Uh, next up, we go to go here. Do the same. Uh, F to F. Count the twos. Now we want somehow want to put it here. Like it would say like two one in this case. We want to merge it. For that, we need to use uh, the formula called called concatenate to merge this. So we're going to do equal sign. Concatenate, uh, shit. Concatenate. Uh, the first string is going to be following. You know, it's going to be this one. Uh, this. Then we go to add one of those. Don't oh, forget the comma. Don't forget the comma. Otherwise, it's not going to work. 
and we can just copy this again change it to F alright and now it says 2 1 by itself as we want so if we go here make it all zeros it's gonna say zero zero which is actually one two if you add a two here it's gonna say one zero it etc so we have brought the result of bands to the station we have connected the card list uh, we have created dropped off of the wings and connected bands to the main scoreboard as for the rest you can design these colors whatever you want to be honest there's no specific uh, ending for it however there's one thing you can do so right now you can tell it's this is empty this is empty but those are not empty right now so we just somehow ma make it empty how do you do that yes by going here stating uh, if uh, let's say yeah hold on if this cell if uh, this cell is equal to nothing then value if true we want nothing to be there alright however if it's not empty we want the results to be we want the result to be there which is basically this one So as you can tell, it's empty now. So if you write something like uh, "hi," it's not gonna be empty anymore. This could be like very useful in the future. Uh, we could take this. Uh, see, da -da -da. yeah, we can just copy this and do this like for paste formula only, and it will do the rest for us. Like if you write something here, like G or anything, it's gonna add the zero the first number and this works like with any number so even if it says like 2 it's gonna take the 2 from there uh, yeah we can do the same on the other side which is gonna be H7 and if it's uh, empty then we want uh, M to show up copy this paste to the others there you go now, you have, now the, these are all empty right now, which is exactly what you want in the King of Tail formula. Uh, it makes it so much more professional, so to speak. Uh, to style it even more... Why is it not disappearing? There we go. You can write uh, in the image, you can write 4, and then make it like... Uh, the height, we can have it like 100 times maybe 70 take a look at it and then center it maybe a bit too big so maybe instead uh, 90 60 still too big 40 and 70 uh, a bit, uh, maybe 50 here. that's about right so if you copy this and paste formula only, uh, then you can just copy this part. And, and we can do like that. Copy paste formula only so if you put like another card there like barbarians it's gonna show the cover the whole image not just part of it which is kind of what we want to it looks better to, in my opinion than just having half of it empty because you can still recognize what card it is uh, yeah and that's about it for the tutorial it got exactly 20 minutes as expected thank you for watching I hope it helped you peace out